There. Queen Anne has been completely cleared out. Good job, me. And while we're over here, that means we now have to head down into this place and do the secret agent mission here. I like how we've cleared out all these places, and then you just have this area. Fucking Paramount's just all up there like, Hey, we haven't been touched yet. Look at our big-ass area. Got a mobile command unit still. Lots of hidden cameras, all of our side missions. Jeez, the fuck have you been doing, partner? All DUP guys are basically southern assholes. I'm kidding, we're fine. As a southern asshole myself, I understand. Yeah, who's this? Raymond Wolf, the reporter. Whoa, like the Raymond Wolf, the, the the guy who cracked the military's real involvement with the Empire City catastrophe? Good, you've heard of me. That'll make this easier. I need your help. Get to Sundial Park and I'll tell you more about it. Sundial Park. You know, now that he said it, I can understand why it's called Sundial Park. <laughs> like, usually when, when I get told to do things in games, I just kind of, you know... I just kind of look at a, a marker and I head over to there. But now I'm like, oh yeah! Sundial Park! The place with the giant sundial! That's surrounded by trees in a park-like fashion. Sundial Park, yes, I get you now. And so, I am now learning to understand the infamousized Seattle landscape. I doubt the place actually fully, fully is like this. Uh, because sometimes some liberties have to be made when you're making a game. It's like, well, we can't have the entire city of, of Seattle, but we can have the names, the general district areas. But we're still gonna call it Seattle, which is weird, I guess. I think they could have still, like, fucked around and made something that didn't sound All like right, man, I'm here. it. Uh, so what do you Seattle. need? My editor has been captured by the DUP. He's being questioned as we speak. I'm still looking into where he's being held. In the meantime, I need you to pick up my most recent story. The DUP are looking for it, and I don't want it falling into their hands. Sure, man. Uh, how, how do I find it? The markers of the drop site are a series of fish stickers I place to point the direction. Just follow the fish stickers. Yeah. I don't know why you can't just tell me, go to the back of the Sundial Park. I mean... It'd be faster. It's not like you really fully hit it. It's just over here, with everybody else. Follow the fish. Oh, well, I'm following it, alright, don't worry. Will they see me before I kill all of them? Stealth action! Oh my god, there he goes! I was about to say, am I really about to stealth kill everybody like this? Yeah, no, you're not- you're not allowed to surrender. Cole's Gift, short-lived or just beginning, by Raymond Wolf. It's common knowledge that when Cole McGrath died, he not only cured the plague that was sweeping the world, but took every conduit with him to his grave. What we didn't know was that this would be temporary. If any of you, rumors emerged of the return of the conduit gene. Some believe that the plague had survived and mutated, this time creating conduits rather than killing normals. Some believe that not all the conduits were actually killed, but a few remained and were somehow able to spread their abilities. I've personally looked into both of these urban legends and have yet to find any survival of them. Which is why I'm here in Seattle. I believe the DUP know more than they're letting on. Wow, that was informative. That's why I'm here. More of the story, I think Augustine and the DUP have the key. I'm going to need your help to figure it out. I'll be in touch. Uh, thanks. Or, yeah, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> it's like, uh, am I thanking him for... For his story, or am I saying you're welcome for helping him out with his story? Oh boy, I just don't know. All right, white dude, ugly looking gray sweater. Uh, yeah. he's got to be around here somewhere. Up, oh, not over this. Generally, just place him in the most obvious places, like. Here. Or here. 
Damn it, man, show up. There you are. You son of a bitch. Man! They started the really badass music for you to die immediately? I should've just let him run away. Fuck! <laughs> you know? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I just need to annihilate a couple of enemies. And then head on down to the real area of fun. And also find the minigun guy, because I just don't like minigun guys. I'm biased against it. Hello! Ta-ta! <laughs> oh, yeah! Perfect! I love when they're trying to give up and then they just go, Oh, you know what? Fuck this, I'm out. Alright. Damn it, I tried to just go straight up. There we go. Another district cleared. And Blast Shards obtained, I actually should remember that. It's very easy to just kind of autonomously clear out everything, but then it's like, then you're like, wait, oh yeah! I can upgrade my abilities! Right. Hmm, Neon Beam. Would be nice to have it not take up as much power. And have a little bit more Neon available. Yeah, fucking... Six to eight, or four to six? That's actually a pretty big jump, holy shit. Although, out of all the missile-type abilities, Phosphor Beam is, like, my least favorite. Because you have to charge it up. And when you have to charge something, it's just really weird to use. And by weird to use, I just mean it's not easy. It's like, all right, I'm gonna go me pew pew pew. That's not nearly as cool. Hello, citizens. I'm here to save you from your own lives. <laughs> Fools. Tracker, 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 tracker. Wow, I got that really quick. Oh, so alive. Ah, fix that. You guys set up shop immediately after the DUP was cleared out in this particular street? Fast. Jeez. Just stop hurting me. No, just stop hurting me. I didn't do anything to you, friend. Not until I killed you, at least. <gasps> Musician. Stop that. Enjoying your own music? Slanderous fuck. What the fuck have I done? Oh no. Oh no. How have I managed this? Oh, I'm in the building. I'm out of the building. All right. Uh, that was... <laughs> that was not how I was supposed to get up here. That was scary. Okay. How'd I do that? It's kind of- I was just like, I'm gonna fucking jump from this wall into this wall and this- Oh, boy. Yeah, that's never gonna- that's just a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Man, you're saying it's not near these cop guys? That's a shame. <laughs> There it is. Might surprise you to know that the DUP wasn't always made up of concrete. Ah, the glass story. They experimented with a number of abilities. They needed something visually strong, easy to train, and versatile. This proved harder than you might imagine. All the plant and organic abilities made people uneasy. Wire proved way too hard to control. Paper didn't convey strength and security. Surprisingly, Glass was a strong contender, but eventually proved too difficult to master. Augustine's concrete ability more and more became the only obvious choice. She was the poster child of the DUP, 
made sense her ability would be the one imbued in all the troops. Yeah, too bad it doesn't work against, like, a majority of the fucking conduits. At least when they're out there ready to kill. Like, jeez, the only one who can effectively use it against, uh, prime conduits is... Augustine, really? I mean, I guess it only makes sense that a prime conduit can fight a prime conduit, but still, like, damn. They probably have about the same effectiveness as just dudes with guns, which is actually pretty much what they are sometimes. Just dudes with guns. Alright, black dude with the blue hoodie, where are you at? It's a white gal, not a hoodie. Uh, black dude, but with a crappy beanie? Did you just say come back here? Wish granted! She said, hey, come back here, and so I did. With a nice handful of phosphor beams. Black dude with a blue hoodie. Where you at, man? Just gonna talk, chat, you a black dude with a pink shirt. Preach it, man. Do what you gotta do. People these days, I swear. They're such dicks. They just say things like, oh, I deserve an apology. Uh, excuse you, lady. You deserve a bolt to the back. And that's exactly what she got. I'm just gonna run around in circles until this fucking guy spawns. Maybe he's not gonna spawn. Maybe he's over here. Nope, not over here. Where the hell is the secret agent? If I take too long, I think he just disappears. But I don't know if he even appeared in the first place. He's just a black dude, blue hoodie. There he is! What? The fuck? He spun around? This son of a bitch! Done. Oh, did you not notice your friend die over here? That is such a wonderful shame. In fact, it's such a shame I'm gonna go draw on the wall over here. I feel like I've drawn this image before in some life. I think that's what some of them are. Just like variations. Like, ah, now this one's gonna be a boy with a red shirt and then something else. Talented son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, kid, you show them what's up. I like how that one wasn't really all that, like, evil. <laughs> it's like, out of all the things, uh, he tied up a dude, DP agent, and is throwing him? That's about as, uh, it's about as innocent as that one image where, where it's a chick accidentally dropping a pot onto a DP agent's head. It's like, it's still abusing the DP guys, just saying. If there's one thing that doesn't change between evil and good is just the fact that the DP guys are assholes and they deserve to get their shit kicked in. And that's exactly what we do. With that said, the civilians of the city sometimes deserve to get their shit kicked in too, like this guy. Who the fuck does he think he is? Advertising in the middle of the street. What if people don't want to know about that place over on the side selling sushi? Huh? Check your cat privileges. I don't want to fucking have that shit around my streets. Alright, so we gotta go back in because we still have to 
clear everything, but we're in a good position because now we can kind of counterclockwise go around. I wish to have that blast shot. Flash hard! Don't move! I need you! That didn't work as well as I wanted to. I was hoping the explosion would end up killing him. 